it's finally time to hunt with the mission crossbow here on Aurora Shores in Wade the Hunter, the buffed in Apex Predator. This is a recurve crossbow. And one thing that I thought was really cool was back on February 2nd, when we got the information that crossbows were coming with this map, one thing that I actually mentioned hoping would be a thing was a different kind of crossbow, and I specifically referenced a recurve crossbow. So it's really cool to see that added. I don't think I've ever played a game with a recurve crossbow in it. And this one, from what we've gotten to do in a limited capacity, is significantly better than the one you can get in the store. So we're going to head out. We're going to try to get everything from moose to bison to Kodiak pear, and we'll see how it does. But we'll start off a little bit more simple with a Sitka deer, and in particular, a one-star mature Sitka deer. Now, this crossbow zero is the same as the one you can buy in the store. You can go from 22 yards up to 55 yards. Because it's graded for 2-6 to six, though, I wouldn't mind if you could zero maybe just one tier further, up to 60 or 65 yards. Because of the way the game works, everything is due to the energy of the projectile. So because this one is rated for a higher animal tier, in theory the bolt is going faster, but 44 yards, we'll just stick that right in the chest. And I mean, that's the thing I love about it. It has insane power. And just because we dropped the Sitka deer, you might think that that's about where it ends, but it can go far more than that from what we have seen. So let's take a look at our first crossbow kill of the video. We ended up with a direct hit with a hard shot there. And you can see we buried it up to maybe three inches before the fletchings. And we're about halfway through the lungs with that sort of quartering frontal angle, so it's not bad. That guy was a 46% mature, so good to take that out. And it should only be up from here in terms of the size of the species we'll be taking with it. And hopefully we continue to see similar results. Now we have shot quite a number of caribou with the crossbow that's available in the store. So I don't think we need to worry about going to that. So the next step is some bigger game. And we've got some Roosevelt elk as well as some moose out in here. And I think just because of the way that we're situated, we'll probably try to get a moose first. There is a one star mature right there that should come into a call. And if we can get that, we'll head out there and try to get a bolt in an elk as well. The one problem with that idea is that we seem to have gotten the attention of a one star adult. But low fitness all the same, we can go ahead and take him as well. Looking at about 40 yards. And typically what I do with moose, because their head and neck kind of ends up covering the vitals, is I just sit here with a crossbow at the ready. And whenever they kind of look away, they lift their head, whatever they do, like that, we can slot that shot in there. And I don't know if we got the heart or not, but that is how good this crossbow is. You know what's interesting? That mature is just standing there. Did they spook and it's a delayed animation? That's what it looks like. So that's the thing that'll happen as well. Sometimes when an animal is feeding or a herd of animals are feeding and they spook, they'll kind of hang around for just a second longer. And I've noticed with the crossbow, that does happen more. Which is actually kind of realistic, I wonder if that is intended. As for this though, buried almost up to the knock, ended up being just a right long shot, and that is an indication of just how insanely powerful this crossbow is. Now it does beg the realism question, and certainly with a single long shot with a crossbow, you wouldn't be dropping a moose in its tracks, but it kind of goes back to the making it worth using the crossbow thing, and if you can drop an animal with it, it's at least worth to actually have it in your loadout, so I think there's a balancing act there that has to go on. That guy was just barely low enough to come into the call, but two for two with a crossbow, and now let's see if we can get an elk. So the problem with the other herd was that we would have had to end up shooting a one-star young, and all of them appeared to be high fitness. None would respond to the low fitness call, but coming down here to the island in the southeast, we've at least potentially been presented with a bit of a unique situation. Now, these ones up here sound like they're alert. I don't know if this guy really is. So as long as he keeps on coming in, we might kind of get more of a quartering or almost broadside shot just because of where the crossing is. And that's just a rare opportunity with the way that calling and stuff works in this game. So we're looking at 65 there. I'd like him to get to 40 if he will, but we'll just have to pay attention to how alert he gets. We're looking at about 40 there. And he's still kind of quartering, so I think we want to take that shot. He's actually just stopping too, so he may actually end up spooking. Let's try to still go kind of frontal, but that ended up right around the shoulder. That'll be interesting. 
The way he is acting, I actually don't think he's hit well. Which most likely means he's going to require a follow-up shot. I want to know what actually happened there. So, we're going to use the... I think we have the 300. And that is going to bring him down. So, let's just find out. He actually didn't go that far after we hit him with the 300. So, let's take a look. That's further left than I thought. There was like kind of a, a crosswind. And I guess I pushed the bolt a little further. I thought we hit the leg directly and maybe the bone stopped it but we were just off the line there and it's still like it could have hit the lung if we were a little bit higher it was 52 yards and that's the challenge right now when that's fixed it's going to be a little bit easier but you have to range the ground at the feet of the animal because the rangefinder goes through the animals at the moment but once that's fixed that particular issue of not knowing exactly how far you're shooting will be a little bit less of a problem it was intestines from the 300 that ended up bringing him down. But it's good to learn, good to know what happened. 44%, get him out of the herd, all of those things are a positive. But I still want to actually bring down Elk with the crossbow. And maybe if we don't end up having a crosswind and having all the rest of the herd alerted, it'll be a little bit easier. So, take two with a slightly better situation. We've got a bunch coming in. This guy's the only even one. And again, I almost feel compelled to say they're not meant to be this uneven. I believe it's an antler bug of some kind that hopefully will be fixed sooner rather than later. But we're looking at about 55 yards. I think for the sake of it, we'll try to go to 30 just to get a better idea of what the crossbow can do on the elk because I really want to focus on bison. We can't call them. I think it's going to be difficult to get within, say, even 70 yards. So that may actually take some time. Now looking at about 45. So let's get the crossbow ready. We'll zero it for 30, maybe. I didn't realize we hadn't reloaded it after the last one. I guess it was because we shot the 300 right after that, but still going to be a little above 30. Let's even try this. Go a little to the right. That looked just about right. Let's see what it ends up doing. He actually doesn't look to be hit that well. Now he is going to stumble. That was interesting. I wonder where that hit him. That is one thing I'll say that sometimes takes me out of the realism of this game. When you shoot an animal and they kind of just stand there and walk around like they'll kind of turn back and forth. I hope that's something that can be fixed because it happens with guns and bows. But especially bows, the idea of them having no idea you're there and then being struck with the bolt. You'd like them to kind of take off a little bit better. That was just a left lung shot. That's more or less what we're trying to do. I've seen the crossbow do far better than that. Now it may be down to range. Maybe more like 30 yards is kind of the ideal range. 30 or 40 is perfectly fine with me, but we did on stream shoot one, I think actually just single lung and drop it a little bit closer than that. So maybe that's the way to do it. But as for now, we've seen that it's capable on moose, on elk, and of course on Sitka deer. So let's go ahead and see if we can get a bison with it. I think that's going to be a challenge, especially if we're losing significant energy over say 40 yards. Unless we can just get out ahead of a herd this walking to us, but that's all down to luck and we'll just see what happens. Well, they're not bison, but this herd of mountain goats is kind of feeding right towards us. So if we can get into position, we might actually get a chance to take a mountain goat with a crossbow, which would be pretty cool. I've been having a hard time actually finding any bison, so maybe if we can get ahead of these guys and take one of them, It'll help us pass a little bit more time towards the evening feed time, and that might make it easier to locate the bison as well. So we'll just sort of keep an eye on where they go and try to stay out ahead of them. And if we can get to within 50 or 60 yards, I say we let it fly. I think we're going to get our chance, but we still want to pick out one that is going to be beneficial to the herd. So there's a one-star adult there. I think maybe this one or one of these other males back here is an adult as well. So if we can get one to just stand broadside, they're a little farther than I want, but I think they're just going to cross the creek down there. So whenever the opportunity arises, we'll have to go for a slightly longer shot than we've hit on so far, but I think we may be looking at right in the area of like 75 yards. I don't know if that one just caught us moving. Maybe it did. Whichever one would just sort of stand broadside. That's the one we want there, right at 70. Got a bit of a crosswind, but it's kind of light today. So let's see. We want a 0 for 55. Aim a little bit to the right. 
and then see if we can just drop that in there? Oh, no way. Do we hit the spine? That was pretty cool. The animal behaviors have to be right for it to, like, actually, you know, be intriguing to do this, but knowing how difficult it is to stock within, you know, even, say, 100 yards of Mountain Goat normally, to have them walk right at us, by the way, how we want the bison to do, which I'm sure they now won't, and then to actually get one with a crossbow is pretty sweet. That looks like we hit it in the spine. That's not vital blood. Right in the spine. So we are off by a bit. It would have been a long shot if we got the height correct. And we did kind of aim with the 75 yard dot. That was kind of cool. 46% just get that right out of the herd and hopefully contribute to that as well. That was not one of the planned things that I thought we'd end up doing today, but unless the bison goes well, that might be the coolest thing we accomplish. It is just about dark. And I decided to come down here and look for Kodiak bears while it's their drink time. Because I think we're going to want to hunt bison in their drink time. And I figured if we can get the Kodiak bears out of the way, that'll give us as much of bison drink time to work with as possible. And there is a female over there. I think it should be with a male as well. And if we can maybe get them to come into the call, we can at least get a try with the crossbow. Now, the wind is bad. And they're kind of just moving off. But I guess we'll put out a call and see what happens. I really don't think taking either of these is a good idea. We have a three-star mature there. And bears in this game, Kodiaks included, live for a really long time. So three-star matures can absolutely get to five. And from what I've seen, mid-80s on these guys for fitness will get there. So we're going to take a risk and take the female. I think what that means is when we eventually end up shooting the male, there won't be like an offspring from him. It'll have to be like a new herd or something. If we use the correct call instead of that one, though, hopefully she'll keep on coming in. There's something extra nerve-wracking about doing this when it's basically dark, too. But we have actually shot, I think, one or two Kodiaks with the crossbow. And the frontal angle is really not ideal. So I'm hoping something happens here where we get a broadside or quartering shot. But really going to be down to what she does. That's perfect. I think that's going to be a kill shot. I'm pretty sure we did that. It is just about pitch black. <laughs> what in the world? It's gonna drop right there? That's pretty impressive. I do have to say, while the circumstances were a little bit weird and frankly kind of hard to see, the fact that it, you know, let's say it just immediately sprinted. Because I talked about that earlier. I'd love if they'd actually kind of take off properly. It maybe would have went 60 yards at the max. Kind of buried that, I would say, back of the lungs, right up to the fletchings again, and we were back. Just single lung, though. Pretty decent. I would imagine, like, perfectly broadside, better placement, it would have gotten double lung. Especially given the penetration it appeared to get. And yeah, I think it is, like, there's a gap between the lungs towards the back. Further forward, I think we get double lung. That is way better than I thought. So hopefully, that three-star bear hits five, and we don't have to, you know see a negative outcome from shooting that, but I think that was worth it. That was pretty cool. We have been slowly crawling towards this bison for probably 10 minutes by now. It's such a slow process, but I'm just really trying to completely avoid ever alerting it, at least until we're within reasonable crossbow range to fire a shot at it. There's a bit of a crosswind, but this day is perfect. It's 3.7 feet per second. So it should be almost a non-factor. If we can get to within ideally 55, but even 70 like the mountain goat, I think we'll have a chance. I don't know that we're going to get a better opportunity than this, but it's really tough to range him since he's actually behind that hill. So we're going to keep scooting up. I think if we hear a warning call or something, we'll try to make do, but he's kind of in the right position just need to be able to get to the best spot we can because this has taken so long i really don't want to have to do it again that's the warning call i'm talking about it's actually the female and i'm guessing we're looking at about 70. we did it with the mountain goat hopefully we can do it with the bison now as well so let's zero back to 55. i want him to stop if we can just get him to stand still for a minute i don't want to move too much 
but he's kind of determined to just keep on scooting off to the left. And the problem is that's the opposite of the wind direction. So it's like double the compensation. I mean, they definitely know we're here now he stops. The angle is just not doable though. Would he just sort of turn? I mean, maybe, maybe like that? It hit right about where we'd hope, but is that gonna get the job done? I have no idea. The blood tells the story, that is not gonna be good enough. Animal survived, and I mean, I don't know what else we could have done in that situation other than just gone for the shot when he was walking broadside, but it was such a problem with the wind being opposite the direction he was walking. I guess maybe we learned a little bit. Not even gonna try a shot unless they are standing perfect. I mean, we can maybe learn a little something. I was just gonna let them go. We're looking at 450 yards, but if we can get them with the 300, maybe we can at least find out what we did. We could hit them in the head? <sighs> or somehow shoot over? Maybe the wind actually will push the bullet further. Hunter Sense says it should hit exactly what we're aiming. That'll do a little bit better. Let's go find out. And I don't know if it's a bug or what, but we lost sound on the way up here, so we'll probably have to restart the game to continue this quest, but the crossbow bolt, I think... I mean, we could have been a touch further back, but I couldn't have asked for that to hit better considering the distance and stuff. And I'm guessing we're just not going to get the penetration, because if we look at this... It looks like it lost energy pretty quick once it hit that rib. Or even... It didn't penetrate? Like at all? That is less than ideal. Like it impacted with... Well above the recommended hit energy. So it's doable. But maybe not at that angle. Then the second shot just right in the brain. At least we know. But I don't think that's going to make th things easier. Well, not for lack of trying, but I just could not get any closer than about 70 or 80 yards to any herd of bison, and I probably spent four or five hours just trying to get into the perfect position. And finally, I just decided this video is not about whether or not I can do it, it's really looking at is the crossbow capable. So I switched to explorer difficulty just to try to make it easier, and still, 60 yards, 70 yards, that was as close as I could get. So I finally just decided, we'll go for it, see what we can do, and of all things, we end up dropping it on the spot. Obviously we hit too high, we hit it in the spine, but this was as close as I could get to taking a bison out, and I really do think a lung shot is very possible broadside, just after all the time we put in, we end up hitting too high, and I'm more than happy just to get a bison with a crossbow, and the reason that I wanted to mention the Explorer difficulty and make that clear is that the only difference it should make is how alert the animals are, and I know like we did with the mountain goats, if on even ranger difficulty you end up out in front of the herd, they can very well walk to within 30-40 yards of you with ideal conditions, but on hunter difficulty with everything going on and just trying to get into the perfect spot, they weren't cooperating and I was just pleased to finally get one down. But Overall, the crossbow did really, really well. Obviously, he's dropping the Sitka deer, dropping the moose. We dropped the mountain goat and bison, but under different circumstances. And with the elk, it still brought it down quickly. And I know for sure we were able to drop one on stream. It's a really good weapon. And I can't wait to get into a position to try to take a five star with it. But that's going to be for down the road. For now, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.